Hello and welcome to this 16th Android video. In the last video we managed to add an achievement which checks if we have reached 10,000 score. And if we have it will say that we blah 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 reached as received achievement. If we have not it will say something like achievement 10,000 score status have not gotten. Still what we are going to do in this video is that we are going to actually try and end the game. When the player gets killed by Spike we are going to take away everything and we are going to Make it so we can add a menu, another menu, the, let's say the main menu. So what we're gonna start by doing is we're gonna go into our game new class. And we're gonna create a new void. Public void end game. We're gonna check when we hit a spike down here. Set the score to zero, constraint to zero, and we call our End game. When we call the end game, we are gonna. When we call the end game, we are going to set a boolean to menu. Let's set a string to menu. For example, uh, menu equals to main menu. I'm gonna create a string. Create a field menu. Our string menu. I'm gonna set that to running first. So basically, when we do when we draw everything here except our background background, which is over here, we're going to go in. We're gonna check to see if menu equals to running. Because if it's not running, we're not gonna draw anything off this. We we'll have no need for it. We go with that. So if our menu equals to running, so basically when we hit a spike, we'll change it to menu, main menu, and then we will not draw anything off this. In fact, we are going to remove them actually. So in end game, we're gonna call some four methods. We're not gonna draw it. We're not gonna do this. We're just gonna gonna remove them if coins don't get I no. Remove coins dot remove I. That should work. All right. Spikes dot remove I. Oh, sorry, we're gonna have to call a new form method for this, or else we will we will accidentally. Let's say we have five coins, and we check the first coin, then we're gonna remove that coin and the spike. But we only have one spike, we cannot remove the number two spike, and that will return an error. We're gonna have to call it another, another form method again for spikes, one for our power up shield. I believe it was called this, yeah. Power up shield of size. And player dot remove zero. It should remove the player, I believe. And now we're gonna have to create another public void start game, which we're not gonna call just yet. We're just gonna see if this works. So basically, when we hit a spike, we're gonna make sure that this method calls, and we should. Hooray! It works. It works. That's awesome. Don't know why it didn't work the first time. We're gonna try and run it once again, to, just to be sure. So here we are. You know what? We're first gonna check if it works when we pick up a power up if it shields us. I don't think there should be any problem with that, but I just want to be absolutely sure. Okay, that worked. I'm just gonna wait for a spike. Hmm. <laughs> 
Don't pass the tempo of that one. Unfortunately. Now we're gonna meet our doom. Three, two, one. That's just awesome. So what do we want to do in the main menu? I assume we want to create some kind of button. Yeah, that would be pretty nice. If now we can end the game, actually, we can do that before. I'm just thinking what we want to add to the main menu. For now, we could just do it when you actually press the button in the main menu and where we're gonna go back to the game. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into the start. No, no, sorry. We're going to the when we check. We're, doing, we're gonna go into the untouch event. That's what it was called. God damn it. If menu equals to main menu. If we are in the main menu, we're gonna call start start game. And we're gonna change the menu to running. So what's gonna happen when we start the game? Well, we're gonna go into our start method of the entire thread, and we're gonna do what we did there. We're gonna add some. You know what? We're just gonna add a player when we start a new game. We're gonna reinsert the player. Let's see, it's at the start game. Here. Player.add, it should add a new player now. And I think you have discovered a bug now that I think of it. We didn't check to, we didn't actually stop the timers when we were dead. So we're gonna do that now, later after we have tried this. What I'm trying to say is that we are still running the timers, so after a while our spikes and our power up shields and the coins will spawn, I think. So they will not actually be drawn because we don't draw them in our on draw method. But they're gonna spawn. So when we re-enter the game, it's very likely that you will, uh, that you might see a coin already over here, and we do not want that because the player might even spawn just on a spike. And yeah, we're gonna remove that. Just gonna see if we can start the game again when we die. We should probably call it add round method too. Now I'm gonna press the button. Hey! Everything work. And as you can see, we already had a spike over here. That's because we updated the timers and we, as you said, we did not want that. So in entire. I think they were turned because of one of the spikes. So switch time random spikes. Oh sorry, we have to go even further back. So if menu equals to run. We're gonna go all the way down here. We're also going to set the timer coins on timer spikes and our timer player shield to zero when we end the game. Coins equal to zero. Timer spikes equal to zero. Timer player shield equal to zero. Capital S maybe. Nope. Timer power up shield. Okay. Timer power up. Here we go, now we're gonna try and run the game once again. I'm gonna cut the video while it compiles. So we're gonna kill ourselves by walking into the spike. Everything disappears, I'm gonna press the button in 3, 2, 1. Everything is running again. So I have no clue why that spike spawned over there. I'm gonna have to look into that. Okay, let's check to see if our timers works. I sure hope so. Else, we have a lot of fixing to do. 
Our shield worked. Our spike worked. That's good. Let's hope it doesn't return an error when we pick it up. Our coin spawned. Everything works so far. We could protect ourselves from our shield. Oh, from our spike, sorry. We can pick up the coins. And hopefully the game will end once again when we hit the spike. And we can run the game again. Oh, that's awesome. So if we want to draw something on the main menu, we're going to have to add an if statement if menu equals to main menu. Preferably down here. If that equals to it, then we will draw whatever we have. For example.